um, this is the beginning of our trip and um, I'm just sort of setting you off. This is, Today is Thursday the 14th of August 2003 um, and tomorrow morning at 4.20 taxi will be arriving here um, for uh, to take us to Teesside Airport. Um, I'm just hoping my phone's not going to go off. During the past half hour had about seven or eight phone calls everybody saying bye send us postcards so my postcards now roughly two pages long um yeah so as you can probably see i'm sitting in between two massive suitcases we've been packing for the past three days um, i've got nothing to wear um because everything's in suitcases but anyway so this is going to be my video diary um it's going to be hopefully like andrew's minus the three hours of rubbish um so yeah he got east coast america i get west coast america it's not a bad compromise really it's better than scarborough or bogner regis i don't know it's quite good california i would have said so anyway grand canyon universal studios that's gonna be great anyway enough of me blabbering on um i guess i'll see you in the morning if i can be asked bye Um, it's me again. Um, the reason we have no footage of the airport or anything is because basically it was really boring. Um, and the battery was going on the blink and we we didn't bother with that. So, yeah, up at half past three this morning, got to the airport, realised that we didn't actually have to check in at 20 to five. We had to check in, I don't know, but later than that. So we got up really early for no reason. But enough of that, at the moment we're in LA and it's fantastic, it's absolutely amazing. It's like, we come up to this hotel room, it's not a hotel room, it's a hotel flat. It's like, it's nearly as big as our house. It's huge. Right, look, let me show you around. Okay. Right, so... This is our main room, complete with TV and stuff, air conditioning, the window. Do, do, do. Look all this stuff, we've got a telephone and everything. Through here, this is still our hotel room. That That's like a walk, look, it's a massive walking wardrobe. That's those are our beds. Hi, Dad. Hello. Hi. These are our beds, right? This is just... This, that's like the, the average size of a normal hotel room. That's just a bedroom. This, we've got a whole kitchen in here, look. Little dining roomy bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait till you see this. Just look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? Look. And there, I don't know if you can see, that is the Hollywood sign. Straight out of our window. So, I'm not entirely what, sh sure what we're going to do tonight. Because at the moment, to us, it feels like about midnight. But in actual fact, it's only, what time is it? Uh, it's 20 to 4. 20 to 4. Yeah. So, I have no idea what we're going to do, but I'll probably see you later on today. Bye. again um, upon further exploration of our absolutely amazing room um, we have found all sorts of different things really there's like there's a walk-in closet there's it's an ensuite bathroom with like a dressing room thing a cloakroom there's um, ice machines on practically every floor with completely with ice buckets and everything it's not the best of qualities of hotels but it's just got everything. It's really good. But anyway, what we've decided to do today, because Mum's knackered, so um, all we're going to do is we're going to have an early night, but before we do that, we're going to order room service, um, which basically ranges... You can have anything you want, basically, on a menu of anything. Um, so we're going to do that. 
and then we're just going to go to bed because we've got to get up at about, I'm not sure what time it is, about nine in the morning to um, go and see the Hollywood sign and um, Chinese theatre and so, yeah, but you'll definitely see some of that. So, um, we're going to go and pamper ourselves for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's um, quarter to eight in LA and um, this morning we are up ridiculously early however uh, it doesn't feel ridiculously early it feels like it's mid-afternoon but I just thought I'd show you the view because it's absolutely great um, I've got to stand back because that doesn't like me opening the windows being dad you know um, so where's the Hollywood sign if I can find it there it is Look at that. Look at that. Last night I kept sort of, I was looking around, I kept gazing out the window thinking, oh my god, we're in Hollywood. But yeah, that's the general feeling at the moment. Let's have a look. Let's see, where are we? Ooh. There we are. It's a nice picture. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to come in, come in here and see some people, see how they're doing. Mum? Where are you? <laughs> okay, right, not a good idea. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> right, okay, well, I'll come back in a minute and I do some... Hollywood okay. Would you like to sing? <laughs> Go on, then. Perhaps not. Go on, sing. Not for on the video. Go on. No, I'll just put Go some on, sing. On. Bye -bye. Oh. So unfun. Yeah, can I come in? Are you decent? I'm putting sun cream on. It's not a pretty <laughs> size. Yeah, but it's you're decent, though. Size. Just, just tell me what the general thoughts and feelings are at the moment. Ah! Can't believe that we're actually in Los Angeles because it's so. Uh, and we have seen the sun come up on the Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Enough of us. Get the. the, the okay, well, I'm going to have a few. I've been in Hollywood doing my legs like this. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is the life. This is the um. This is the classy part of it, as you can see. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Please, for that. Well, when you build a building in Los Angeles and you use public funds, a percent and a half of the cost of the entire building must go back to the city. What the city does is then go out and commission artists to do these magnificent sculptures and waterfalls and not pay for the entire thing. Alex, can we get as close as possible? I know the road is closed, but you're a, you're a, you're a good guy. You'll get us as close as possible. Check it out. This is going to be the home of the LA Philharmonic, the permanent home of the LA Philharmonic. We're actually, what we're going to do is go back the way we came. Oh, we can actually go down this street, huh? Think so, Alex? Sure. They don't know our names. Oh, no, I don't think we can. Okay. What we'll do, oh, there is a fence, huh? We'll just, we'll just go back the other way, and you'll pass it on the other side, so you'll get to see it again. Get that. Yeah, Alex, we're going to stop up.
You got kicked out of in Pretty Woman. Remember, she says to the woman when she comes back, big mistake, you've made a very big mistake. Rodeo Drive is always a work in progress. Someone moves out, someone moves in, the stores change, and uh, but the prices don't. Even when they say sale, it's a lot more than I've ever expected to pay for advertisement they could ever have. Mr. Harry Winston, loans his jewels to the movie stars every academy awards every golden globe every dga award and everyone is here fendi is here faragamo is here prada is here dior is here yves saint laurent valentino all the names are here this is where the rich and famous come to spend their money or at least window shop even lolik has a It's me again. Um, today is Sunday. Um, last night, after we did our tour of Los Angeles, we went to Santa Monica Beach on the bus, met some very strange people. Um, to the top of our tans, went, went on the pier, um, wandered up and down there, bought a necklace, and we um, saw the Big Dipper and everything. And um, yeah, it was good. Then we decided we were going to go and have something for tea. Um, and not wanting to be boring and go to Burger King or McDonald's, uh, we searched for ages looking for a nice American restaurant. Um, and eventually we did find a really nice one called Yankee Doodles with um, loads of pool tables and stuff. And. Um, yeah, that was really nice. We sat outside and it was warm and everything, watching people go past with street entertainers in the street and everything. Uh, one thing that we did end up eating burger and chips, which I thought was a bit ironic, but never mind. Um, yeah, so that was last night. We came back and went to bed. Um, today we're going to Universal Studios, um, which should be great. Um, however, we're not going to take the video camera, so you won't see that. But there'll be photos probably. Um, yeah, and we're about to go down for breakfast now. Um, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go. See you later. Bye. Um, our day at Universal Studios was fantastic. It was um, all the better have, from having done the tram ride around the um, the um, film sets. Um, I think the rest of the park with the um, 
theme parks and things was just basically like Florida one. But um, yeah, we saw the Bates Motel and um, Whoville from The Grinch, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, later on, um, we took the tour bus past the house Michael Jackson used in Thriller, um, which is exciting. And saw loads of other stuff as well. Anyway, um, what do we do on the night, Mum? After know. Universal? Um. Oh yeah, we had um, had uh, tea in in the hotel, which was nice. And then um, this morning we got up bright and early um, to set off for Las Vegas, which is where we are now. Um, um, a couple of hours into yeah. A couple of hours into the journey, got a flat tyre, which was <laughs> exciting and boring at the same time, um, which is, well, how long were we there for? Two mm -hmm. hours. Two hours in a stuffy car. Well, actually, it wasn't that stuffy, but outside was absolutely boiling. It really was like standing in a hairdryer. Um, so that was excruciating. Then... Um, we went to Calico, which is what you've just seen there, um, which is nice, but again, absolutely boiling, couldn't stay out for too long. Um, and now we are in Las Vegas, which is also pretty cool, We're right next to the um, Stratosphere Tower, we can see it from the hotel room window. Um, so I'll just show you a bit of that. <laughs> That's Vegas. Pretty cool, huh? And that there, can't see much of it. That is the tower. I'm sure you'll see the full thing soon. Anyway, bye for now. Oh, would you look at that? We've just been out in that. It's about how hot do you reckon it was, Dad? Uh, at this time of night? Yeah. About um, 90, I think. 90 Fahrenheit. That is ridiculous. But it's pretty cool, though. Mm. Anyway, we had to come in because we're all far too hot and it's now freezing in here because of the ventilation shaft. But anyway, just thought I'd show you the view. Don't know how much of it you can see, but still. Okay, so, good night. So, here we are at the top of the tower. Look at that. That's our pool. Have a look at that. That was the road, which, needless to say, that's not going on. There you go. And that's the Eiffel Tower. I don't know why they try and make this place into the, oh, so many different places that it is. I think it's cool for what it is. There's even a New York here somewhere. I don't know if I can find it, but if I do, I'll show you. And that is the New York bit, I think. And that right there, that's the Luxor. And it is, I think it's the second biggest hotel in the world. And it's got an Egyptian name. We're thinking we might go there later. Um, it has a beam coming out of it on a night. That goes 10 miles into the air. And it's the brightest thing in the whole city, which I find very hard to believe, but anyway. There you go. This 
is the indoor observation deck. And look down there, it's a little pool. And so are they. And so are they. And they've all got pools. How are they finding that? Anyway, yeah, this is the indoor one, which is slightly more scary than the outdoor one. Anyway. But now we're going on the roller coaster. Your rescue team, because this is a dangerous situation. As we, you can even just tell how this water is pounding against this fire truck, a very heavy fire truck. And you can only imagine if it was a lighter vehicle, would it be moving down the, uh, the what looks to be gallon right now? But as you can see, they're uh, kind of to grab their hand of this man on top of uh, the, the Metro Swift Water. See that? That is Las Vegas. Rescue. That is the most the rain we've, we've ever and, uh, had in Las Vegas. People will hopefully get out here and that is where we are right now. Just another reminder to stay away from fast moving water. How are most comfortable of their lives uh, talking about the firefighters saving other live people news. And rescuing others and, and they are in need of rescue at this point. They may very well have we been are watching in route history to unfold a fall here from someone who was in trouble because of the floods and of course the rescue workers on the ground have to do their very best to try there and reach people. This but in this by the case pool. Uh, it's and we're slightly disappointed to be that told that we should probably move away from the, the pool as people have seen deep, lightning. Even for those fire engines to navigate. We're going to stay on this footage right here. And Dr. Jim, you were saying already three inches. However, oh, we didn't know exactly two. what I mean, was going to turn into. Our into. average rainfall is about four inches a year. Exactly. Like, we just it. get about four inches of rain every year here in Las Vegas. Now that's officially out at the airport. Exactly. And so far at the airport, we've had one hundredth of an inch of rain. That's amazing. And that is amazing because now we're going to see the thunderstorms right at the airport. So there's a lot of folks who are watching this, especially in the southeast part of town, saying, gosh, where is all this coming from? Well, now is the time for you to prepare to be ready when these floodwaters start moving in your direction. And we could get, as you, as you mentioned, up to two more inches of rain with these new cells that are developing, and you can see the rain falling there. So rain on top of runoff means more flash flooding, and that is why the National Weather Service has continued the, to extend the flash flood warning until 8.30 tonight. And just to top it off, it's now raining on our side of town. Just great, just wonderful. Brilliant. And that's the pool. That's the pool we were in today. Hmm. Interesting. Today is Wednesday, so it's Zion Lodge National Park and Lucy's got fed up with doing the video diary so I'm taking over for a little while as you might be, um, as might be obvious from the bad camera angles.
Well, it's still Wednesday, but now we're at uh, Bryce Canyon, and this is the rim of it. But Peter says it's worth a snap, so here we go. Yes, you kind of find it slightly hard to believe that you're right here <laughs> when you're down there, don't you? It's like, oh, look, remember this big country for miles around. And then you walk a couple of hundred yards and, uh, nope. <laughs> I was slightly mistaken with that. What more to say? just, just... Yes. Yep. And it is, it's like I said, about a two hour hike. If you were looking for something a little bit more challenging or a little longer, there's this beautiful loop that winds its way in and out of that section of the I think you know when you stand in the about 520 feet up in there. Inspiration. To cross the Hoover's giant scale, for those of you who just take a short hike down them, uh, the Queen's Garden and Navajo Trail. And that's not really going to afford you a great view of.
Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. How are we today? Very nice. That was not a sunset night. Yes. I it wasn't a sunset moment, it was a sunrise. It was, a it, was a sunrise. it was coming up, it was a sunrise. It goes the other way. That's right. I'm confused. Yeah, that, as you just saw before, as you probably already know, was the sunrise over Bryce Canyon. This is my introduction to today. Today is Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Thursday the 21st, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, Thursday the 21st. And today we are, what are we doing? I don't know. Show them the view. Don't show them the <laughs> okay, well, we just like me showing her, so we're going to see some scenery. So there you go, some trees, some nice with... trees there. Look at the trees. We're going to Page and Lake Powell today. Page and Lake Powell, we think. And the nice little balcony things. Oh, pretty pretty. Look, right, and right over there, roughly there-ish, is Bryce Canyon, which you would never really notice if you weren't told. Told you. But yeah, but we've been told, so it's not quite as fascinating as it would have been. So yeah, today we're going to Page. And how long are we staying there for? One, One night. One night. But we get there early, so we have time to relax. But time, afternoon at leisure. And walk on the afternoon at leisure is what it says on the itinerary. Yeah, but if we get any punctures of tyres or people oh. falling ill. No more pleasure. adventures, please. We've had quite enough for one holiday. Anyway, we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. me again. Um, I've lost track of what day it is so I'm not going to tell you. Yesterday um, we did all the stuff that we said we were going to do at the lodge. Um, not, not everything went exactly to plan however. I mean uh, we went to all the different places we went for lunch and it was lovely and blah 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 and then on the way we went to um, Glen Canyon Dam uh, which we couldn't do the tour of because the lift was broken, which is the whole point of the tour. Um, so we didn't do that. We came back like an hour early from the tour, just wandered around the gift shop aimlessly for a while, got back in the coach and then the heavens opened and we had one of the biggest lightning storms I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, that was interesting. However, they still went, some of the people still went on the optional cruise across the lake, which I thought was a bit of a death trap myself, but never mind. Um, yeah, so that's what's been happening yesterday. This morning, um, we just, we'll, we're in this hotel. It's, I have to be honest, it's probably the worst one we've been to so far. It's got a rubbish view, 
But never mind, we'll be doing nice things today. So I'll come back to you with more on that. Bye. Because that won't be as deep as it goes. No. Well, from sort of that level. Where the bottom. The tower is Are you taking the camcorder? I'm not just sure if there's going to be a helicopter. Is it going to be a helicopter though? Mm, helicopter. It must be like a big one though. Mm. Right, well, today's the end of the uh, Grand Canyon day, and it ended um, a lot better than it looked as though it was going to, really. Um, the weather was absolutely disgusting when we got here. 
um, thunder and lightning and absolutely no chance of any sunsets or anything like that um, but we just at the last minute decided to take a walk out to um, Hopi's Point and as we walked there the sky began to clear and when we got there it was absolutely amazing as you've probably just seen on the uh, on the video there and then we went to an IMAX which you won't have seen and that was absolutely amazing as well and tomorrow morning we're going on the uh, helicopter and there's every chance that'll be absolutely amazing as well but we'll wait and see what happens there so if you tune in for tomorrow you'll find out what happened next I can switch it off Hi, we're in uh... Good morning Dad Good morning, Good morning. So report on yesterday was um, first we got up and did a helicopter flight over the Grand Canyon which is pretty good really <laughs> We kind of we'd seen an IMAX the night before, and the helicopter was swooping down between the uh, uh, the rocks and in the valleys and things like that. And we were all we had our sick tablets and everything ready to do all that. But actually, it was it was really sedate. You just got to the edge of the canyon and just flew straight off. Turned around and came all the way back. Kind <laughs> <laughs> so, of so scary, was, really, wouldn't you think? Well, it, it, it wasn't scary as thought, except for those who were sitting in the front, which was uh, Lucy. Me. Woo! Um, but for the rest of us, it was quite uh, quite calm, really. And then we went to uh, Sedona, uh, which is this uh, beautiful town surrounded by red rocks and things and full of new age rubbish, really. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we went to this vortex where all the, all, all the energies come together and, 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 and made us all instantly younger again. I didn't actually spot it in anybody, but that's probably because I wasn't looking in the right place, but I'm sure it's all very, very true. Yeah, um, yeah, right. And then we went to... Um, to Rawhide, but we kind of tried to go in the pool, we went in the pool a little bit, but we were rushing around a bit, so we went to Rawhide, and saw a bit of a show, had a bit of an eat, uh, had a stagecoach ride, which I thought was really good. Uh, it was, it was good, wasn't that. it? Yeah. I wanted before. to become Calamity Jane, jump up on the top and start yeah. singing, but you know, yeah, people had some reservations about that idea, so I didn't do uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, but it was good, I thought it was really nice that. And yeah. uh, we did one, oh, we saw some, uh, a, a Wild West shootout by some, it was really Clowns. rubbish though, wasn't it? <laughs> it was pretty bad. It wasn't great, but we were there. We were yeah, there. yeah. It was so, an experience to uh, see. So, we're pretty tight now, but uh, we've got yeah. the Palm Springs today and we hope that we'll be able to kind of slow down a bit, get mm. in the pool and... Uh, but it's a really good hotel room, isn't it? This one? Oh, yeah, this one is nice. brilliant, look. We've nice got like a whole room. living area. Right. Unfortunately, right, this, this is where I slept. But it was like a fold-out double bed, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, but it's really nice. We've got a gorgeous pool, as you can probably see, outside. Lovely pool. And sort of like two TVs and a kitchen and a bathroom and everything. I'm not going to take on a whole tour, but it is really good. One of the best we've been in. And the weather's lovely. So anyway, that was yesterday, because we didn't film anything, unfortunately. But I'm sure you'll see some more stuff today. So I'll see you later. <laughs> For the last three days we've just been taking it easy in San Diego. We came out for a meal tonight with uh, uh, our tour director and some Australians and some Americans. And now we're just doing a few. <laughs> well I messed that up but uh, hopefully you heard that we're getting towards the end of our San Diego leg of our holiday and the end of all of our holiday. There's Lucy and Pat just uh, walking off uh, around uh, San Diego Old Town. And tomorrow morning we'll be getting the flight back. So here's a last view of bits of San Diego Old Town. That's us signing off.